What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And today, I'm going to show y'all what to do with this old wig. Y'all, this is a half wig. It ain't human. It's synthetic. And it look like it done had it, don't it? Well, guess what? We're going to bring it back to life. Don't throw that old synthetic wig away. Half wig away. I'm going to show you what to do. First, we're going to put some water on it. Okay, I'm going to get it soaking wet with this water. Wet it up real good. Like I said, y'all, this is a half wig, and you can tell if it's a half, half wig when it got this cross right here the front. It ain't no lace in it. This is a half wig. This is what I used to um, wear with my headbands and different stuff. That was before the headband band wigs was in style. I've been wearing headbands with my half wig for 15 years. <laughs> I love me a half wig. Okay, yeah, you're going to wet it up real good. You're going to get it good and wet. You're going to put some conditioner on it. Again, this ain't human hair. This that synthetic. Put some conditioner. Yeah, you don't use your good stuff now. You just get some conditioner. You ain't got to use your good stuff. I'm just trying to help you get another wear out of it. At least one more wear before you chuck it. All right, we're going to massage the conditioner in it. Then once we massage that good, we're going to let it sit. Let the conditioner sit on there for about a minute. So, turn the water off and I'm going to let it sit for about a minute as I massage it. Okay, I'm raking through it the best I can with my hand. I'm just raking through it and yes, some hair going to come out. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of shedding. That's cool. I still got the conditioner on it. Like I said, it's only going to be in there for about a minute. So, all right, it's ready to rinse out. Kind of rinse it out. And get all the conditioner out of it. Notice I didn't say shampoo. I just said conditioner. And I told you, don't use your good stuff because you're just trying to get another way out of this. You're just trying to bring bring it back to life for at least one more wear. So, yeah, we're going to rinse this out real good. Okay, I'm squeezing it out. Make sure none of that hair don't get in y'all sink. I know y'all don't want to have to call no plumber, okay? <laughs> that ain't fun, so make sure that hair don't get all in your sink. If you see a piece or two pieces or whatever, long pieces, go on to get it. All right. Kind of squeezed it out. Now I'm about to go get a towel and dry it out. All right. I got these wig, wig pins right here. So I'm going to take these out. This old Pearl. Pearl done been through it, so don't, don't pay her head no attention. And my kid's having a ball over there, so I'm ready to take these out. These are wig pins. And as soon as I put... The half wig on here, I'm going to stick these in it, in her head again, in order so that the half wig can stay. Okay. Stick it on here. All right, let me stick my pins in there. They're hard to grab for some reason. Wait a minute. Stick one in there. Trying to make sure I hit. Don't go nowhere. Stick one in the back. We're going to section it off. We're going to do a few braids in our hair. Alright, we're going to part it off. Gonna try to comb it. Comb it the best you can. Start from the bottom and go up. Start from the bottom and go up. This can be hard now. Sometimes I put it between my knees so I can hold her still. 
These kids have a box. Okay. It is important that you get it combed out good so that the braid can look good. They just started calling Leah. All right, we got our first section. We're ready to braid it. First section. All right, we're gonna do a regular braid. You're not gonna borrow any hair. Don't borrow any hair, just braid. When I say don't borrow no hair, don't make it stretch. Don't borrow any hair. Make sure there ain't no scraggly pieces. Move them out the way. Just a plait. Try to make all your plaits the same size too, okay? So you're gonna try to go all the way down. Her hair dripping on the floor, I mop it. It ain't, it ain't no big deal. Okay, we're gonna go down as far as we can. Might end up cutting a little bit of this off. But we're gonna go as far as we can with the plait. We try not to borrow. Okay, that's something as far as we can get without borrowing. That's one. Hega two. So you get it, you're gonna comb it. Like I said, a lot of this hair might come out, which is cool. Just make sure you throw it away. Don't let none of that stuff get in your sink. Ain't nobody got time to pay no plumber. Ain't nobody got time for a lot. Well, I know I don't. And I'm just trying to show y'all how to save a few coins. If you need to. Sometimes you need to save a few coins and want to have to. So it, I'm not just saying, hey, don't go buy you no new, new wig. I'm just saying, here go away to stretch what you got. Especially if, you, if you're trying to make it a Friday or something. You never know. You might need your hairdo before check time. Could, that, that could always be the case. And you might be like, oh man, I got an old wig in there. I seen Queen L video. Let me, let me try to bring that half wig to life right quick. Okay, we're gonna break. Don't borrow. Just break. Hold up the piece of hair in the way. Make sure I ain't borrowing. Wait a minute. Okay. Just a plait. Plait, plait, plait. Now it gets tangly now. Like I said, this is not human hair. Yeah, I know the synthetic gonna be thick. Go as far as you can, because you might end up having to cut that little piece off. What are you doing, boy? Y'all, I got kids, so if you hit them in the background, that's, that's my life. That's my life. I got children I have to raise. Okay. That's as far as I can get with us. All right, that's braid number two. You're gonna go three across. So try to do three across the back. See, it's getting a little hard. It's gonna be tough. I ain't gonna tell y'all no story. It's gonna be a little tough. Okay, we're gonna try to make three across the back. Okay, this is how it should look. Just like Felicia off Friday. Just like Felicia off Friday. If it don't look like Felicia off Friday, it ain't gonna be the same look that it's gonna, that it's gonna get once it get out the microwave. Yeah, y'all see, I spent $3.99 on this head at the hair store. $3.99. So, yep. Yeah. So, I got... Three right here, three at the bottom. Yeah, I see it. Now it's time for the microwave. All right, you're gonna grab you a plastic bowl to put it in. Now I'm ready to take this hair off. 
Let me pull all these little pins out. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for about two minutes. Let me slide a, slide it off. Okay, we're gonna put it in there like this. Yeah, the Felicia braids. All right, now it's time to go in the microwave. Okay, put it up in there. All right, two minutes. Okay, I know y'all like, what happened to your head? Okay, I done braided like four braids to the back. Yeah, I didn't do them all fancy and perfect, but four braids to the back. And I'm, I tucked it under. I got a little hair out in the front. Okay, y'all, don't mind it. It's, it's looking crazy. I know, I know. But guess what? I'm about to hook it up. I'm sure I'm about to hook it up. All right, let me pull my hair down. The little piece, I got this kind of to the back, but I got a little piece out down here in the front. Y'all, let's see what I'm going to do with it in just a second. So, I'm trying to pull some down. This the hair. Just took it out the microwave. All right. I'm about to look just like Felicia all Friday. But look just like Felicia. Okay. Alright. Alright, I got my half wig on now. See, it's on now. Alright, now we're gonna take the braids loose. Like I said, you might end up having to cut the little straggly pieces. We'll see though. Might not. You never know. But at least check it out. And that's the important part I was telling you about, about not um, borrowing hair because it's harder for it to take it loose. You want it to be able to be a whole thick piece. I mean, I, I knew not to borrow hair for a long time, but I didn't realize that's what they were saying. Borrow, don't borrow hair. I just... I don't know what, what I was thinking about, y'all. I didn't know the exact term, don't borrow hair, but it makes so much sense. <laughs> y'all, I'm just ra um, rambling and talking. Let me take these loose. I was looking for my comb that had the um, tail on it. That rat tail comb. That's what I was looking for, kind of be able to just stick it through there. Because when you put it in the microwave, it make it tight. Like, it pull it together tighter. So, yeah, y'all going to see the little end result. That's why I said, you know, you might get another wear out of it. At least one more. At least one more. Okay, we're gonna okay, we're gonna take these loose. Like I said, that's the perk of not borrowing hair. It should be easier for you to take a loose. Y'all, when I learned that term borrowing hair, I've been saying it ever since. <laughs> Don't borrow hair. Ever since I learned the term. Now I've, I've been braiding hair like that, but I didn't know the term was don't borrow hair. Which, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Just haven't used it. All right. Y'all, looking good, ain't it? But now you see what I'm talking about, about the piece that we may cut. But like I said, we'll see, we'll see. We're going to take them loose. See how that do. See how that do. We're going to make it do what it do, baby. Hi, Jamie Foxx said it. Make it do what it do, baby. That's on me, Jamie. I was listening to that today. I was listening to Jamie Foxx, H Town, Rome. Yeah, I had to wash me a load of clothes. Well, had to wash, wash a couple loads. Wash my bed cover. Shoot. Washing the clothes, the easy part. It's the putting up part that's hard. Shoot. That's what takes seven to ten business days. <laughs> Like, um, hold please. It might take seven to ten business days for me to put this up. But yeah, I'm I'm happy. I, I got all my all the clothes put up. I'm happy. So now I just got the 
wait on my bed covers to finish washing. I wash my bed covers every week. My com comforter, I wash it about every two weeks, not every week like I do my sheets and pillowcases. I ain't nothing like it though, is y'all? Getting in a bed that's clean, fresh, freshly been washed. Now that's the best thing when you jump up in there. After you done had a fresh bath, you like, ooh, you get up in there and rub them foots together. I know it's feet, y'all. Rub your feet together, I know. But I like to say foot. It just sounds funny. Get up in there and rub my foot together. And daddy, get that little bit. But yeah, yeah, I'm taking it loose. Taking it loose, my Felicia braids. This is going to be pretty. And if you want the curl pattern to be bigger, just, um, do bigger braids. Do bigger braids in the direction that you want the hair to fall. In the direction that you want the hair to fall. Because if you don't, guess what? You're going to have it all over the place. And you're going to be like, let me split it. Let me put it over here. And then guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be making this freezy because you're going to be taking it out of the form that it's in. You're going to make it freezy. So if you want it to be like this tight and look together, then you just go ahead on and put the braids in the way you want it to lay. That's your main thing. And if you don't have a little mannequin head, like I said, I spent $3.99 on it. If you don't have one, just put it on your head and do it. Put it on your head. That might be even better. Like, like I said, wash it and stuff. Well, not wash it. Put the um, conditioner on it. Don't use no expensive conditioner. You use expensive for your own head. You don't use it for something like, you know, synthetic hair that you're just trying to use to make out until you get something else. Well, I don't know exactly how long this might last you. You might want to do it again. I don't know. But, yeah, I would use, I would go get me a dollar ball of swab conditioner just for stuff like this. And like I said, I'll put that conditioner in there. And when you finish with the conditioner and rinse that out, go ahead on it. If you don't have one of them heads, put it on your head and put the braids. Put the braids everywhere like I did in, in your head and kind of style the um the braids in the in the direction you would want it to fall. Braid it in that way with these plaits. After that, you'll be doing what I'm doing now. Then put your hair in braids, put the wig on, and then you, after you take it out of the microwave, you stick it back on your head. And go ahead on and take the braids loose. All right. I ain't going to make y'all sit through all that, so I'll see you in just a second. Okay, now I done took it loose. I'm starting to see a few of them little straight pieces, but... All right, let me fix my edges and stuff. Let's see how this gonna look. See how it's gonna go. Look for my edge control, y'all. Okay. I have been asked before what kind of edge control I use. I use this one right here. The 24 hour edge timer. That's what I use. That's what I use. That's what I use. Okay. Oh, my brushes look bad. Right, let's try to figure out how we're going to hide this. Blend it once. Let's see. Trying to blend. If I don't do nothing else, I want to blend it, y'all. I mean, I know it ain't yours. It ain't yours. But guess what? I'm trying my best to make it look as realistic as possible. Okay? That's my goal. That is my personal goal. Not gold. What am I talking about? Gold. Gold. That's my personal goal to make it look as realistic as possible. 
I mean, why not? I'm trying not to mess up my curl pattern still, y'all. So I'm just kind of trying to blend my hair. And if I was y'all, when you leave this part out in the front, a little bit out in the front, braid it. I will braid it. That way, you have a little um, wave. So when you pull it down with it like this, with the edge control, maybe your wave will, will try to blend in with it. You know what I'm saying? So let's try this side. Put some edge control over there. Again, this is an old wig. I'm just telling y'all, don't throw it away. Just try something out with it, you know? Even if you don't do this, try to roller set it or something. Get you some rollers. And try to get yourself a roller set. Put the rollers in it. Wet it, do everything like I just showed you. Get you some rollers. Do like we used to do them ponytails, honey. Roller set it. Yeah, I don't know what them kids did with my little, um, I had a little, the little brush thing, y'all, the edge brush. Y'all know the little edge brush and calm on time out. I had one. I don't know what my children did with it. So I'm trying to blend and I ain't got it. Yeah, I don't say nothing about my eyelashes. They is going through it. I try to put them things on in the car. I thought I was a pro and stuff. Like I told y'all on that video, I was like, I'm a pro. <laughs> I, done, I done turned into a pro. I ain't did it three times, y'all. And I was like, y'all, I'm a pro. Try to do it in the drive-thru line. One of them all the way up here about to flip off. I fix it. I take it off and put it back on. But yeah, y'all. You know, so if you want to, you know, the more natural hair look, this, this, is a, a, this is a natural style. This is natural, the natural look. So, yeah, I might cut a little of these, few of these straight pieces off. Yeah. That right there got to go. I'd rather just pull it back here. Pull it back some. Yep. Yeah. That little one just trying to get on my nerves. I think that's my hair, so I'm gonna have to. My hair trying to cut up. My hair trying to cut up. But, I mean, it still ain't bad. It still ain't bad. Okay. When you do try to, if you want to open it up some, grab it and then don't tear a little piece. Grab a big chunk. And when you go down the middle of a big chunk, Open it up. Don't don't gradually do it because like I said, your hair gonna get bigger and bigger. But yeah, that's just something to do. Something to do before you throw it out to try. Don't hurt to try, right? Don't hurt to try it. Okay, I'm gonna try to. See if I can show y'all back view of it. Okay, that's it from the back. The back view. Alright. Alright, this is the front view of it. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to cut some of these straight pieces off. If y'all don't want to cut the straight pieces, that's cool. If you want to try to rebraid the straight pieces... That's cool, too. I got to fix this eyelash, y'all. This is just getting bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I think it's cute. I think it, it'll work. You know, this this a get you through hairdo, okay? This is a get you through hairdo. If you're trying to get on through the week, this will get you through. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. This is a get you through hairstyle. Before you throw it away, at least try something on it. You know, it ain't gonna cost you nothing to put this thing in the microwave for two minutes with some rollers or either some braids. And just see how it turn out. You might end up liking it. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload my newest videos. Peace out.